Well, we looked at what feedback is all about, and we realized how essential it was to keep people's efforts on track and also to give them a clear picture of their progress. We also looked at reading signs and symbols in the workplace. Most health and safety signs don't have words. They use symbols so that people who speak different languages can understand them. Some of the more common ones are no smoking, caution and fire exit. Other signs relate to particular workplaces, such as hard hats must be worn, poisonous or corrosive materials. It is important to know what these signs mean. They're there for your safety. We looked at the functions of feedback. It tells you where you're doing well and where you might need to improve. And it motivates you by showing you that you have made progress. If you have a job, your employer has to give you a payslip. We gave you some tips on how to read one. PRSI stands for Pay Related Social Insurance. PRSI contributions are deducted by your employer and they entitle you to certain benefits. Everyone has their own PPS or Personal Public Service Number. You'll need this number for all your dealings with all of the public services. Your gross pay or gross income is the amount you earn before tax, PRSI or other deductions, whereas your net pay is the amount in your pay packet or bank account after all deductions. Feedback should work in both directions, for example, from tutor to learner and from learner to tutor. So accept advice, take guidance, but do ask questions and don't be afraid to express an opinion. Everybody has their own particular skills and strengths and feedback can help you to highlight your strengths. Knowing them will help you to work out the best way to learn. Skills are practical abilities which are gained or developed through training, experience or practice. For example, builders need to lay bricks evenly and have the ability to understand a building plan. Qualities, on the other hand, are characteristics which make us the kind of person we are. Athletes need to be committed and have determination. Chefs need perseverance. And to be a good builder, it would help if you were reliable. And as we saw with Elaine, feedback doesn't always have to be verbal. Smiles, laughs, applause, they're all very effective forms of feedback. And lastly, we gave you some tips on spelling words ending with the shun sound. Any word which ends with a shun sound and is to do with someone's job is always spelt C-I-A-N. For example, optician, electrician. Most shun words end with T-I-O-N and many of them have A before the T-I-O-N. For example, information, education, station. Words ending in S-I-O-N mostly come from verbs ending in D, D-E or S-E. So decide becomes decision and comprehend drops the D at the end and becomes comprehension. Comprehension.